So guys, what you can uh, see about this video is this garden is long. It's um, and I like to try and split it into sort of four or five different sections just for my own sanity. Because um, if I was just to walk all the way to the back of this garden forward, I would go absolutely crazy. So this first little section here is what was, you know section number one for me. Um, it's it's the first part um, of the garden that the the customers here will always see. You know this is the bit they come out on and you know if anything's going to be happening it will happen on this piece so I really want to make sure this bit is nice and stripy you know um, hopefully it looks nice and uh, sort of defined with the stripes um, it's, the, it's the, the biggest area of lawn without having a tree inside it or you know having any roots um, this might be a video sort of from start to finish but you won't see me doing any streaming today um, I don't like streaming this place Basically, because um, well you can see uh, on the left-hand side a huge sort of uh, uh, indoor swimming pool thing they've got, and those panes of glass. I have broke one before. It is expensive. Um, I did get it on the insurance, but I do not want to be breaking any more of those windows. So I trim there, but very, very, not very often, and I try and um, uh, just keep it tidy with shears. Uh, might take me a little bit longer, but. I'm not breaking one of those windows again. That was a bad, bad day. So this section here is, like I say, just the normal straightforward one. Um, it's just up and down. You might see me go over a couple of the lines again. Sort of, it's only for my own. Um, I like to keep them nice and straight. And if I think I've wobbled on one a bit, I will go back over it. So this is section number two. It's all under the trees. Um, this is one of the big reasons I use my 21-inch uh, um, mower because the the guy who used to own it, um, this this property, he used to cut it all on a um, on a, a big ride-on tractor thing, um, and he would always ask me, "Can you just do all the bits that I've missed?" And it was basically all the bits under the trees and all the rest of it. Well, I ended up cutting more. Um, of the grass than he did and in the end said to him look let me carry on with my small mower um, you know I just like to get in there a bit more so it makes it easier for me I don't have to be ducking down too much under the trees and so then um, yeah the third section is 
um, I try and do the big middle bit and it's sort of from where I've started here all the way sort of left hand side um, it's very rooty around here you probably can't tell but um, I do a lot of bumping around with the mower so um, it's not an ideal thing but it's you've, you've just got to be careful um, if you haven't done a lawn like this before you're best off to have a little walk around before you start um, or even start with the mower raised up a little bit and um, until you're confident that you're not going to hit anything because um, you know that will be uh, straight away um, you know, redo your blade um, because you'll hit a root um, it's, it's also on the left hand side gets really rocky there's lots of sort of it's a bit dusty and stony so um, it's not my favourite part of the garden to cut but um, you won't be able to tell too much from this video but I'll try and keep my lines nice and straight the same as the um, the first section so I'm sort of linking up for the first section um, but yeah it's um, I'm getting getting there now you know it's uh, it's getting through the getting through the garden I find it when you break it up into three bits uh, three or four bits it just you know it's not such a big task I mean it is a big task because it's a big garden but in your mind it doesn't seem uh, so bad This is section number four and it's right at the very, very top of the garden and it sort of goes into a bit of a woodland at the end. Um, this I used, I'm going side to side this time because I get so fed up with just walking up and down the garden so this time I'll just change it around and go right. Um, there's a there's an old bonfire pile you can see in the in front of me there um, and all around here it's all real rocky again you've got to keep your eyes open because you know you hit a couple of rocks and you're you're going back to the shop getting your blades resharpened um, so yeah this is um, the, all my all my machinery like this I I don't tend to look after it too much myself I get um, there's a local guy to me and he's very very good he got um, he knows all of his you know goes blowers and mowers edge cutters all the rest of it he sorts them all out for me I mean I take my mowers to him uh, at least once a month and he does my sharpens my blades for me, and he'll also um, you know oil change it all for me. Uh, he lives literally two minutes down the road from me. And he's um, a nice a nice guy. So try and find somebody like that local to you that will um, you know be able to keep you in, uh, in good stead with your mowers because they're doing a lot of work. You know this place is huge, and um, you know this it's doing your mowers are doing at least sort of nine hours of work every single day. So um, yeah, keep keep your machinery up to date and keep it good, um, and you, you'll you'll reap the benefits. You know, it will all grass will look nice and, and green, um, if, as long as your blades are nice and sharp. If the grass starts to look a little bit sort of silvery or you know sort of sort of smashed up a little bit, you you might then decide right time to get the blades done. So yeah, this is the very top section, um, and it's uh, it's just a case of keeping it low, keeping it tidy. Um, there's an old vegetable patch in the middle. Um, 
So yeah, it's it's um you see Juno there, she gets in the way a lot, but she's a good girl, she's nice nice company to have at work, you don't talk to yourself too much. Um so yeah, there's um one section after this and then that's the lot. So this is section number five, and it's basically everything else that's left. Um, it's uh, where you see me from now. It's everything sort of to the left of the video, um, and it is basically bringing everything in nice and lines. So when you stand at the very end of the garden and look up, it all looks like it's all been done in one long section. Um, the lines will all match up. Um, so. Yes, the final part is lots of little bits and pieces to go around, an old pampas grass thing, and they've planted three new tree, little trees, which I need to go around now. So, um, this is, you know, this people's gardens, you know, they, they are fiddly. It's, um, it's not what I would do, you know, if it was my lawn, it would have nothing in the middle, it would just be a straight line, you know. It's, um, but you've got to be versatile, you know, you've got to be able to go around things, and say at the back here, normally would just go around with a strimmer. And um, you know, keep it all nice and low. So um, yeah, that's that's it for today's video. Um, I'll show you a little clip at the end of um, how it all finished up. But um, we'll see you soon, guys. Thanks for watching.